like that good inside your mind Just watch me break All right, we're waiting for our final camper. Uh, what's his name? Let me see here. Ah, uh, Leonardo Collins. Another bad boy. Oh, I hear a car now. That must be them. Hup, 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 hup. Well, Leo, here we are. I never thought I'd see my son here. I hate to do this to you, my only boy, but it has to be done at this point. Do I really have to take part in this? Like, you're still on that? Ooh, this kid seems like trouble. Your behavior needs to change. Yeah, it'll only be a couple days. Days? <clears throat> Let me go introduce myself. Hup, 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 hup. And after those few days, you'll be a better boy. More respectful. Be lucky it's not weeks. Um, excuse me. You must be the Collins family? Exactly what your father said. Hello, um, uh, my name is Sergeant Watson. Yes, I run Camp Watson. This is my camp. And this must be your son, Leonardo Collins? Hello, sir. That is correct. Well, I don't know what you said, but I'm gonna ignore it, sir. Wow, um, I don't mean to eavesdrop or anything, but I, I could hear your conversation when I was standing behind the tree, and, um, sounds like your kid was already giving you some problems. But don't worry, because after I'm done with him, he's gonna be the perfect kid. I promise. I'll get him into shape. Yes, sneaking out and spray painting, I'm sick of it. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. I've seen worse. That's what I like to hear. Well, go ahead and say your goodbyes, kid. Ah, uh, the sun is setting. And tomorrow, we're going to have a full day. Bye, Leo. See you soon. Goodbye, my beautiful boy. I hope you learned from this experience. Bye. Take care of my boy. Don't worry. I will. Let me go ahead and introduce you to the other campers. Come on, son. All right, son. Come on. You're already following behind very slowly. Let's go. Let's go. Hop, hop, hop. Here are the rest of the campers. Go ahead and have a seat because I need to discuss a couple things with you boys. Come on, hustle. Yo, Brayden, my boy, Leo. Hey, sit down, boy. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sergeant Watson. I used to be kind of like you boys when I was younger. I didn't listen, I didn't follow directions, I was always getting myself into trouble. But look at me now. I'm a strong, independent, Black man. Go around and tell me your names. Let's start with you over here. Because you look real mad. My name is Jamal. All right. Nice to meet you, Jamal. I wish we were meeting on different circumstances. What's your name, kid? M my name is Mason. What are you stuttering for, boy? Say it again. My name is Mason. Much better, much better. Now, you, Blondie, what's your name? I have a name and it's Brayden, not Blondie. I'm already sensing some attitude from this one. Oh, I'll handle you later. And you, what's your name? Are you crying, boy? Do you want to go to Weenie Hut Jr.? Leo, nah, you're tripping. For real, bro. As I was saying, this is Camp Watson. At this camp, you will learn to be respectful, fend for yourself, and become a strong young man. Yeah, right. What did you say, boy? Drop and get me 20. Now. Easy. Let's see how easy it is when I put my foot on your back. Keep going, boy. Bro, get off. Y'all hear something? Why you gotta do me like that? Whoa, chill on him. You too? Drop and give me 50. And I'm counting. Don't think I forgot. Let's go, peanut head. Come on. Anyone else wanna make another interruption? I didn't think so. Now, all of your parents have sent you here because you've been stirring up trouble at school or at home or in your neighborhoods. But after this experience, that behavior will be corrected. Now, we have a very long day ahead of us tomorrow, so I want all of you to be well rested. Excuse me, those were 10 push-ups, not 50. 40 more to go, get down now! Keep going, boy! Why are you counting? Because I asked you to do something and I'm making sure you do it correctly. Since he wants to give me attitude, everyone can do 50. Yeah, that's right, come on. Just do it, Leo. Bruh! S sir, do you think this is necessary? In life, sometimes your actions will also affect everyone else's actions. That's not even fair for real. 
Life's not fair. Now, what did I say? All three of you, get down and do 50. Mm-hmm. You too, Jamal. I see you over there. Keep it going. Bro, Leo. How'd you end up in here? Remember that night I snuck out? Oh, yeah. What? You got caught? Yeah, my mom was pissed. Psh, I blame you. Sir, I don't even think I should be here. I stole three books. Did you know that stealing is a crime? What, me? You're the one that asked me. Look at his nerdy ass. Them goofy looking glasses. All right, maggots, hit the shower. Cause I can see some, some stink clouds forming over there. Come on, let me show you where the restrooms are. And then it's lights out. Do you have a hearing problem, boy? Go shower. <laughs> Hey, Jamal, how'd you end up here? I robbed a bank. Bro, what? Yeah, still got the money too. All I did was spray paint a grocery store, sneak around, and a few other things. You should be in jail or something. Nah, you're something else. My parents are rich, so the judge said I can just go here. But anyways, was y'all's water freezing cold too, or was that just me? Nah, mine was fine. Nah, it was just you. All right, maggots, make sure you close the door behind you. Last person out, always. And now it's time for lights out. So pick whatever tent you want, but not this one, cause this one's mine. Yeah, I get this entire tent to myself. This is what I'm talking about. I think the boys are asleep. So now Operation Buzz Cut is in full effect. <laughs> All right, maggots, you heard the sound. Get up. Where the heck is our hair at? Leo, Brayden, what happened to your hair? Hold on, what the actual bro? Mason looks like a pencil eraser. My hair. What's wrong, maggots? You don't like the new look? Oh, shut up, Mason. Nah, man, that's messed up. No, dog. Don't start with me. My hair was my prized possession. I got girls because of my hair. Well, your hair should not be your prized possession. And you should not be focused on girls right now. You need to be focused on yourself. Yeah, yeah. Are you giving me lip? All right, everyone, drop and give me 10. Mm-hmm. This is ridiculous. I wish I would. Drop and give me 10. Do you think this is a game? I said no. You know what, boy? Come here. You want to give me lip? Hey, put me down. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Anyone else want to try me this morning? Whoa, what the? What the heck is wrong with you? What is your issue, bro? Chill. Now I'm drenched. Why the heck would you do that? It's just a little water. Come on. Time for breakfast. Everyone gets one ration. And not the chips. Put the chips down. Where the waffles at? You're just teasing us at this point. Ew, this is the stuff my mom eats when she's dieting. Get a granola bar. You need all the energy you can get. Because after this, you boys are doing an obstacle course. And then after that, we have somewhere we need to go. So we need to get through this quick. Hop, 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 hop. I can't wait to go home. Uh, sir, I can't eat this. This gives me the poops. Did I ask about your bowel movements, boy? Get an orange or something. Give me the granola bar. I'll eat it. This man about goofy is... That kid is an embarrassment. <laughs> You're a weird dude. I know, I know. My mom tells me that all the time. It gives you the poops? Sir, are you good? What was that sound? I mind your business. Come on, maggots. Let's get a move on. Hurry up and eat your orange. You should have been did that. If I'm a maggot, you a fly. You guys are going to go up against each other on this obstacle course. Okay? Oh, uh, why do I see a hole? Because it's an obstacle course. You stole books. You didn't read them. Are you dumb? The first person who wins this obstacle course will get a surprise. Now, I know you guys have become friends or whatever, but right now you're a competition. This looks like lightweight. I can do that. I've got a good body. When I blow this whistle, you boys get started. Line up right here. Come on, you're gonna go up these nets all the way over here, complete this tower right, what the hell? Complete this tower right here and jump across each of these tires. Do not miss one. Do the same thing for this one and meet me back here. Ready, set. <laughs> Look at 
Aiden falling for the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> Sir, I actually enjoyed that. Man, I'm skipping this. Easy. Easy? You skipped some of it. You know what's easy? This. Now get back up here. Dude, what the heck? Taking too long. The surprise is, it's really good. There is no surprise. Do you think being first will always guarantee you get what you want, maggot? Look at you, already asking for handouts. Now, meet me in the van. Hop, 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 hop. Get in the van. All right. Let's get a move on, maggots. We've made it. Everyone, get out of the van. Hop, 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 hop. Now, what I want the four of you to do is march up this mountain. Move, move, move. For real? Did I stutter? Go. My grandmother runs faster than you. Up the hill, not the cave. Something wrong with this boy. My pronouns are you. S A. Keep it pushing. I'll meet you up there. You're too slow for me, boy. Oh, say can you see? Now, where's that peanut head, boy? Come on. I had to catch my breath. Do you think the world is gonna stop for you to catch your breath? No, keep it moving. Go, go, go. Everyone else made it. Come on. Come on, Leo. You got this. Are we going on those? I know we ain't. That's exactly what we're doing. You are to glide back. To are you hiding behind a tree, boy? Get over here, you big baby. Not me. I didn't expect it to be you, but today it will be you. You're going first. Pick a buddy. Who's going with you? I ain't scared. Well then, boy, get to moving. Yeah, go. Is this even safe? Come on. This is easy. Did they make it back to the camp? I can see a redhead boy right there. I don't know what you just said to me, boy. Head back to the camp. And just like that, I made it. What are you, afraid of heights or something? I'm confused. Start punching the punching bag. Move over, Brayden. This is how a real man punches. This is how it's supposed to look like. You're just psychotic. Sounds like you ran out of gas. You, Jamal, pick it up and hold it till we're done making dinner. Sun is about to go down. Is he still holding that weight? Yeah, that's what I like to see, boy. I need a fart. Mm. I had to break wind, too. Mmm, <laughs> smells like, smells like the war. Mm. Uh, again? Jeez. All right, boys, dinner's up. Mmm, chili. I love me some chili. Mm, mm, mm. It's all right. No bread or nothing? Could use some hot sauce. What you know about hot sauce, boy? You know what? I'm gonna let y'all just chill for the rest of the night because it's been a long day, and uh, I'll see y'all in the morning. That guy is crazy. Nah, for real. I know, right? For sure, I'm ready to go. I can't wait to go home. He looks like that villain off of Sonic the Hedgehog. Bro, you're so right. Hey guys, let's just get out of here. Oh shoot, y'all. Mason got a bad boy side. Oh yeah, I do. Nothing going on. Looks good. Uh, what the heck is going on over there? Help me up. Hey, hop, 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 hop. What's going on over here? Whose idea was this? Get back to the campgrounds. Y'all trying to leave my camp? Y'all leave in the morning. I ain't snitching. Well, I am. It was Mason. Mason, out of all people. What do you have to say for yourself, boy? What, sir? That doesn't seem like something I would do. You're right. Seems like something Brayden would put you all up to. I saw you on the cameras. What? Me? Bro, be so for real. You was talking about some help me up, help me up. And you was first in line. Just for that, follow me, boy. Come here. Thanks a lot. You got the wrong one. Get your out of here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now start swimming, boy. Bro, I'm reporting this. Cry to your mama if you want to. But she signed the waiver. I'll go if y'all go. Excuse me? Y'all ain't going anywhere but to bed. Now get in bed now. 
Hit the showers and go to bed. Your parents will be here to pick you up in the morning. I'm freezing. Well, warm up by the fire. That's all I can tell you. Don't disrupt me. I'm going to bed. See y'all in the morning, maggots. Now I know y'all hear that sound. You know what that means. Rise and shine, maggots. Sir, yes, sir. Now that's what I like to see. I told your parents that by the end of this experience, you would have manners. And you're off to a good start. Everyone made their beds? Let me see. Perfect. Spick and span. Let me check this one over here. Wow. I can't even say I'm surprised. I expected this. Everyone, make sure you pack up your things because your parents will be here to get you soon. It's been a pleasure. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You're quite welcome, boy. Yes, sir. And if you want, you can go ahead and grab some fruit off of the picnic table. I can't believe the three days really went by this fast. But I just want to say, I wish you the best of luck. And I hope I never have to see you here again. Oh, I recognize this car. Boys, get out the way. You don't want to get hit, do you? Good morning. Dad, Mom, my baby, Leo. Oh, wow, I see you're missing something. What happened to your hair? Those beautiful curls. Looks like this dirt. My curls are gone. You trying to look just like your father or something? You don't have the right head shape for that, sweetie. Yep, I've been trying to tell him. He has a peanut head. This man shaved it while we were asleep. Well, um, we can't complain because I did sign off on that. What? Yup, I was there next to her. Sorry, honey. It's just hair. It'll grow back. Remember that. Don't you touch my hair. Keep one eye open when you sleep. You trying to stay here? I can't. I got a lazy eye. No, 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 I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Please promise to never send me here again. See, that's what I thought. I'm begging. We promise to never send you here again if you promise that you'll change. Your sisters look up to you. You need to be a better influence for them. I will, I will, I promise. Because if you don't, we got his number on speed dial. Looks like my job here is done. Okay, everyone. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching Leo's experience at Camp Watson. By the way, we are not keeping his hair like this. It was only for this episode. But if you enjoyed watching, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!